In question number 36, 9 reagents are given and the question is how many reagents converted aqueous iodide into I2. The first reagent is K2Cr2O7. The first reagent is K2Cr2O7 acidified. When acidified K2Cr2O7, when acidifies K2Cr2O7 reacts with I minus, then it converted into I minus into I2 and it's self converted into chromium plus 3. Similarly, when copper sulphate, when copper sulphate reacts with I minus, then it converts I minus into I2 and it's self converted into copper plus 1. Another reagent is S2O2. In S2O2, the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 1. And when S2O2 reacts with I minus, it converted into I minus into I2. And the oxidation of state of oxygen plus minus 1 is converted into minus 2. When, when I minus reacts with Cl2, when I minus reacts with Cl2, then I minus converted into I2 and the uh, zero oxidation state of Cl2 is converted into minus 1 converted into minus 1. Similarly, when I minus reacts with ozone, reacts with ozone, the oxidation state of oxygen is converted into 0 to minus 2 and I minus is converted into iodine. When, when I minus reacts with Fe, Fe plus 3, that is a FeCl3 solution, then I minus is converted into I2 and the plus 3 oxidation state of Iron is converted into Fe plus 2. Another reagent is HNO3. When I minus reacts with HNO3, then the minus minus uh, when I minus reacts with HNO3, then I minus converted into I2. But when I minus reacts with I minus reacts with alkaline alkaline KMnO4 then the minus 1 oxidation state of iodine is converted into plus 5 and IO3 minus is formed and MnO4 minus is converted into MnO2 and the last reagent is Na2S2O3 the last reagent is Na2S2O3 when I minus reacts with Na2S2O3 then there is no reaction then there is no reaction then the number of reagents which converted I minus into I2 are K2Cr2O7 acidified, copper sulphate, H2O2, Cl2, ozone, Fe plus 3, HNO3. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this one is 7. The answer is 7. In question number 40, 9 molecules are given. Then identify how many molecules are square planar. The first option is XCF4. XCF4. XCF4 having sp 3 2 half digestion and having two lone pair plus four bond pair and therefore their geometry is square planar and therefore their geometry is square planar. Their geometry is square planar. Another option is SF4. SF4. The half digestion of SF4 is sp 3 d is sp 3 d and having four bond pair and one lone pair and therefore their geometry is and therefore their geometry is seesaw therefore their geometry is seesaw okay next another option is another option is sif4 which is sp3 hybridized and having a tetrahedral structure and having a tetrahedral structure and having a tetrahedral structure another option is bf4 minus bf4 minus bf4 minus having also sp3 hybridization and having tetrahedral structure and having tetrahedral structure same as of sif4 same as of sif4 another option is brf4 minus the hybridization of bromine in BRF, BRF4 minus is sp3d2. 
hybridization is sp32 and four bond pair and two lone pairs are present and having a square planar shape and having a square planar shape having a square planar shape another option is cuns3 whole 4 2 positive in cuns3 whole 4 2 positive the hybridization of copper plus 2 is d sp2 and this is due to the transference of electron and therefore the shape of cuns3 whole 4 is square planar and therefore the shape of cuns3 whole 4 2 plus is square planar another option is fecl4 2 minus in FeCl4 2 minus iron is sp iron is in plus 2 oxidation state and are sp3 hybridized and are sp3 hybridized due to the presence of weak field again and therefore their shape is tetrahedral and therefore their shape is tetrahedral therefore their shape is tetrahedral similarly for cobalt tetrachloride 2 minus the hybridization of cobalt plus 2 is sp3 due to the presence of is sp3 due to the presence of weak field ligand and their geometry is and their geometry is tetrahedral their geometry is tetrahedral another option is ptcl4 PTCL4 having 4 weak field again, but due to the greater Z effective of platinum plus 2, it has DSP2 hybridization. It has DSP2 hybridization and having DSP2 hybridization and having a square planar geometry and having a square planar geometry and having a square planar geometry. From the above discussion, it is very clear that the geometry of XCF4, BRF4 minus, CUNS3 whole 4 2 positive, and PTCL4 2 minus having square planar shape, and therefore your answer is 4.